Today's lesson is to explain Chapter 16, Lymphatic System and Immunity. The learning outcome of this video is to be able to explain the two major types of lymphocytes and how they function in immune mechanisms. By Marvie Cruz Lopez, Anatomy and Physiology 2402. Lymphocytes are white blood cells that function as part of the immune system. Their various functions allow them to properly respond to foreign invaders in the body. Some lymphocytes work alone while others can coordinate with other cells. The CD4 T cell that is the cartoon on the right is also known as the T helper cell. It organizes and alerts other cells to coordinate the immune system to clear pathogens. Pathogens are considered the bad guys. The regulatory T cell, which is the police officer, acts like a suppressor cell that controls the immune system and promotes tolerance, just as an officer's duty is to ensure that there is order. The cytotoxic T cell, which is the cartoon on the left, who is also known as a killer T cell, this is a special type of T cell because it has the ability to kill other cells and not to mention, it usually kills cells that have been infected with the virus. Therefore, the virus can no longer use the cell to replicate. Our last cell, which is the B cell, originates and matures in the bone marrow, and therefore it is called the B cell. These cells are distinguished by the Y shape, which is a protein on the surface known as the B cell receptor. This protein is specialized to recognize and attach to specific antigens. How are B and T cells formed and activated? B cells are activated by the binding of antigen to receptors on its cell surface, which causes the cell to divide and proliferate. Some stimulated B cells become plasma cells, which secrete antibodies. Helper T cells become activated once they interact with the B cell or with a cytotoxic T cell. How do lymphocytes function in immune mechanisms, you may ask? Lymphocytes are part of our immune defense and act to recognize antigens, produce antibodies, and destroy cells that could cause damage. Our sources used today was Holes, Human Anatomy and Physiology, 15th edition, chapter 16.